Hello, my name is Catherine Henry. I'm a third year art history student from Plymouth University and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Dame Laura Knight painting The Beach from 1908. I'm particularly drawn to Laura Knight as she was one of the only female artists shown in this exhibition but also because of her associations with Nottingham which is my hometown and very close to my heart. Her work is a fantastic example of British Impressionism. She paints the colours as she sees them. I feel like I could join the girls in the picture on the beach in their games. It reminds me of a summer holiday. This painting was done in New Lynn in Cornwall, where Knight moved in 1907 with her husband Harold. It's a rather important piece in Knight's artistic career. It's where she stepped out of the shadow of her dark, realistic depictions of workers drawing on impressionist techniques into her own style. This light, bright, free-flowing beauty which is depicted caused it to be one of the first paintings of Knights to be exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1909, which gave Knight the exposure a young artist would need. We can see the activities enjoyed still today, paddling in the sea, going for a swim, lounging around taking in the beauty of the Cornish coast. Even the girl at the front appears to be rock falling, which is still one of my favourite activities to do at the seaside. It's very easy to relate to. It stirs a happiness of the inner child and the glee that comes with it. It's something of a British holiday which I still remember and something time will never forget. The cares of Knight's past have been left behind and she's found freedom and ecstasy in the direct expression in paint. In New Lynn, her social life had taken off, giving her a newfound enjoyment that can be seen in this picture. This is a very interesting depiction of Edwardian children. The main focal point is the girl in the front, one depicted in deep red holding the hands of another girl in a straw hat both shown without stockings and shoes. This is a highly unusual practice for girls of this period. The pinafores we see on the girls are very typical of all classes of females in this period. They were used to protect the clothing underneath them. Traditionally, this pitching has been seen as children having fun on the beach. The smiling face of the girl in the lower left-hand corner can give that impression but she is the only one. The others do not appear to share her joy. The two on the left standing, gazing aimlessly into the distance and the two girls in the center are looking down inquisitively at what appears to be the rock fall. I feel there's a more somber element, maybe linking into Knight's own childhood, which the girls at the front reflecting on how she feels about New Lynn. She embraced the modern impressionist techniques and moves her impression of life within the painting, which continues into her later styles. Thank you for listening.